Hello and welcome to Bunny Hop. My name is George Weedman and I have with me Melissa Hutchison. Hello everyone. The voice of Clementine from The Walking Dead. Yes. Can you do a little bit of Clementine real quick? Hi everyone, this is Clementine and I'm so happy to be here at Dragon Con. What's this thing? Daddy said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. Did you lick it? I don't know. The Walking Dead was a really, really successful game. It's like yes. just racking in the Game of the Year awards by the boatload. How is the game's success affecting you? Um, it's completely shocking. I do a lot of voiceover work for video games, and you know, you never expect or imagine that it's gonna blow up like it did with this game. So it's, I mean, I've been going to award shows, I've been, I was flown to London, like coming to these conventions, like this is all really new for me uh, in this industry and I'm just thrilled. It's, I still have to like pinch myself because it doesn't feel very real sometimes, but um, I'm so grateful for the success of this game and, and mind blown, still just kind of like feeling it out. What got you into um, trying to audition for a role for The Walking Dead? Um, Were you already a fan of the franchise? Yes, yes. I was already, I hadn't read the comic yet, but I was already a big fan of the show. And when I saw the auditions come through from Telltale, uh, I was of course psyched. And I mean, was like, I, I need to get on this. I, I really want this. It was one of those jobs where, not that I don't want every job that I audition for, but this was like, you know, the mega, uh, I still didn't think it was gonna be as huge as it, as it is, but I, what anything having to do with The Walking Dead, I wanted to be a part of. So I was very excited. And, uh, and I'm guessing you enjoyed out. yeah, how it turned out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thankfully, they booked me, and uh, yeah, I, you know. So it's just, it's really cool to be a part of that, that franchise. And I got to meet Robert Kirkman, which was huge. He's super awesome and rad. And was it hard getting in the mindset of such a young character? No. <laughs> I'm very immature. Uh, actually, Clementine's probably more mature <laughs> I than I am, so if anything, I had to mature up. No, uh, it, um... I'm kind of weird. I'm like a weird chameleon creature that has all these personalities living inside of her. It was it wasn't actually that difficult for me because I'm constantly studying and observing. This is my goatee. This is my thinking. <laughs> Stroking mm, it. Yes. Um, I, I was wondering how much of it like was actually that method acting, like getting into a mindset of it, or if you just had a voice and hammered away at it. It was kind of a bit of method acting. I definitely had references. Like I, I kind of conjured my niece and just uh, watching the behavior of, of small children and, and uh, definitely use that as reference. But coming up with the actual voice, I don't know, that was just kind of organic. And you know, I, I know that it's, it's tricky because this game, the characters have to be so real and especially for the, for the little kids they needed to be likable and if it would have been something like animated like I'm Clementine then it would have people would have like how do we kill her you know it, <laughs> it wouldn't would've been a little I would have never gotten booked yeah. right exactly um, so I just had to really hone it in and make her sound as real as possible. Do you think um, video game voice acting is becoming a larger career field? Oh yeah I mean no well, there's I'm a lot just of kidding. Like, crossover. <laughs> I don't want any more competition. No, it's not. It's a horrible, <laughs> horrible industry. They work you like a dog. Um, yeah, it's uh, the gaming industry at this point is what is I think it's making more money than the film industry. Yeah. I mean, it's huge. It's and because games are incorporating all this, you know. Um, oh God, I'm gonna totally like out myself on not having video game knowledge. You know, like the cutscenes and, and you know, where... Uh, that's that's the term. Woohoo! Yeah. <laughs> um, there is a lot more, uh, it's just beyond the grunts and groans and the, you know, go forth, you know, the commands, short commands. It's, there's, uh, it's definitely, I think, going to be employing a lot more and voice actors. I was also wondering about like crossover with cartoons and film and TV and if you think we're gonna keep seeing more of that in the future or if video games themselves are gonna be more specialized. 
Um, I, hmm, I think that there will be some crossover. Uh, I don't really know how to answer that too well. Well, there is like a lot of crossover and um, I don't, I can't necessarily like say for myself how different voice acting for um, cartoons versus video games and whatnot would be, but um, I mean I was just wondering with the video game voice acting industry getting bigger if it is also getting more specialized, like how much of a difference is there between doing video games and doing animation? For me personally, um, one of the biggest differences is in video games we're generally recording all of that uh, dialogue by ourselves. We're not in the studio with the other actors. Um, and with animation, you're, you're working with all the other actors, kind of, you know, jiving off each other, which is totally awesome. Um, and in video games, you kind of like, you know, you'll record like a whole, sometimes entire game in one recording session. And, so you, you know, with animation, it's more of a progression. Um, so like when you and um, Dave Finoy, who was Lee, were talking together, you guys were alone? You weren't going yeah, back and forth? we were alone. We didn't That's even meet until uh, episode three. Hmm. That's when we so, finally met. So all that back and forth <laughs> was just kind of pieced together by the developers. Yes. Yeah, we had uh, uh, Julian, uh, the director, he, was, he would kind of do line reads to read us in. So it wasn't totally like, well, I don't even know what's going on right now. Because a lot of times you don't, you know, you'll see a line and I'm like, can I get some context? Oh, like, oh so you actually have someone read it back to you. Okay. Yes, yeah, kind of without that, then it's, you know, it's, uh, it's difficult. Not all the time, though. <laughs> so you're not totally alone. I'm not totally alone. Yeah, that helps the performance uh, a lot. But, um, of course, if we had our way, Dave and I would have recorded all of those, all of the cast uh, would have recorded together. And you say you met him at episode three, but did you ever start actually recording together after that point? Nope. Or? Nope, nope, nope. And, Aww. you know, in the... I'm, I'm imagining how differently it might have sounded, actually, if that were the case. Yeah, I know. But then in episode five, we would have just been too blubbering. Oh, yeah, messes. that's right. During the panel, <laughs> the you said you got really emotionally involved yeah. Yeah. in that last episode. And yeah. it's surprising to see, like, some of that weight of playing the game rub off on the people who helped make it happen. So, yeah. how much of the script did you get beforehand? Like, um, did you know what was in for these characters when you started the role? When I started the role, I mean, we had kind of a, a brief synopsis, but of course it changed. And, you know, as, as we recorded the first episode, I think they were like, oh, well, I think it's going to work. You know, there was some rewrites and different direction with some of the characters. Um, I don't think I knew about Lee, oh. Spoiler? Uh, I'll put a spoiler warning on the video. A giant spoiler uh, about Lee uh, getting bit and dying um, until episode three. Um, but we generally didn't have a preview of the script until right before we went in to record. So it was almost like I was part of the game as a voice actress, but at the same time, because we recorded so close to when the episodes were released, I got to enjoy it myself in this way of like, oh God, what are they going to do? But I, I did have a lot of the background story. So I think we're um, about to run out of time in the room. So one last question I wanted to ask. And again, if you don't want to spoil the, anything, that's fine too. Mm -hmm. But what can you tell us, if anything at all, about Clem's role in season two? I, I, all I can say is she is, she is returning. Okay. And that, in so, that is news in itself, so... That, yeah, that, that has already been released, so I am released to say that, but that's, unfortunately, that's, that's all I can... Okay, well, cool deal. Can, that's all thank I can you. do, people. <laughs> Thanks yeah. for the interview, really yeah, appreciate it. Yeah, thank you, thank and, you so uh, much. hope you have a good day at the rest of Dragon Con. I will, yay! <laughs> all right, cool.